everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. So here I have a prototype of um, something I was playing around with and the end result I was really pleased with. So this is my um, wedding favour or um, like a dinner party gift um, and it sits up nicely on its own. So I previously put up um, my orb box and it's kind of evolved from that. This is a lot more narrow and thinner and it wouldn't stand on its own so that's why the base then came into place and then I thought oh hold on a minute this could be something quite cool. So um, this is my orb dinner table wedding favour gift box. So um, there are a few elements on this that are slightly different to what I will be doing because I've, I've uh, decided that it needs to close the same way that the box did and the old one that I put up a few days ago so exactly the same concept it's just this is more sharper lines not curved lines like I did on the other one and, and again it's a really nice big size um, box there so you can put loads of sweets in it if that's what you wanted to do um, or Christmas time this could look really grand and gold and cream and all kinds of things you could have really nice gifts in this on the on the Christmas table so I think it could be something really really special and obviously it's up to you how you want to decorate it um, I've used my succulents um, flower because it's just a nice big flower and it I curved it um, with my um, bone tool um, I just thought it sits nicely on it and this is just a nest of stitched squared framelits all on top of each other just to make a nice um, base but again you can make the base entirely how you like the main part of this video is obviously how to make this so let's crack on you are going to need um, a piece of so I am still using the white card because I'm doing a monochrome black and white style which I liked so the card measures um, Again, it's A4 card, so it will either be 11 and 5 eighths or 11 and 3 quarters of an inch. Um, so don't worry if it's either, that's fine. So it needs to be that by 8 and a quarter. Okay, I'll go through all this scoring with you in a minute. This is what I'm using for my design. Um, I want it, again, to look quite, um, you know, uh, colour block. So I've just got this black strip that I'm putting through the middle of it. Again, this is the same width, so 11 and 5 eighths, um, and then it is a quarter of an inch. So if you did, again, want to follow it, this um, tutorial exact, then you'll need a piece of that. I have already put together my flower here that I'm going to use. The papers I'm using today, and that's my base with all of my stitch framelits. So they're the stitch framelits, and I'll put the link to where I got these from. Um, these are the works, these ones are actually, so they may still be available in store, and I think they were £6.00. Five pound or six pound, very very cheap and amazing. They're really good dies. Um, the papers I'm using are Do Craft Paper Mania Capsule Capsule Geometric Neon. So I'm using all the blacks, and you can see there they're really really cool um, papers. All kinds of different ones. I've mixed the two packs together because this is all the um, the softer ones. Um, but there you can see that's a cool one as well, the circles. So I've just picked out the polka dots there. Um, so that it is everything. So keep your big piece of card, put all that to one side. Okay, so with your scoreboard, scoring along, first of all, let me, it will be along the, yeah. So first of all, scoring along the 11, um, sorry, the eight and a quarter inch side, you want to score at one inch all the way down. Then uh, three and three eighths of an inch all the way down. Four and three eighths of an inch all the way down. Six and three quarters all the way down. And seven and three quarters all the way down. Okay. Then you want to rotate it onto the 11 and five eighths or 11 and three quarters side. And you are gonna score, first of all, at seven eighths of an inch just down to the first score line. Okay. Then at one and seven eighths of an inch down to the first score line. I'm um, sorry, the second score line on both of them. It's the, um, the first one, so seven eighths of an inch is to the second score line. And then one and seven eighths of an inch is again to the second score line. You're then going to score at two and three quarters of an inch all the way down. Then at three and five eighths of an inch down to the second score line. Four and five eighths of an inch down to the second score line. And five and a half all the way down. 
then six and three eighths of an inch down to the second score line, seven and three eighths of an inch down to the second score line, then eight and a quarter all the way down, then nine and one eighth of an inch down to the second score line, ten and one eighth of an inch down to the second score line, and then eleven inches all the way down. Okay. Then flip the whole piece of card over. Okay. It's easier to do it this way than um, get your ruler out and line it all up to make sure. But you're just going to do those same score lines again. So one inch, but this time, <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> oh dear, something went, uh, happened to my throat then. So this time you're only going to have that one score line, that first one. You won't have the two because this is the base. It's slightly different. So you want to score it one inch just down to that first score line, then two inches down to that first score line. You've already scored at two and three quarters, so that will be there, so don't worry about that one. Then move on to the three and five eighths of an inch down to the first score line. Four and five eighths of an inch down to the first score line. Five and a half score line will already be there. Then six and three eighths down to the first score line. Seven and three eighths down to the first score line. Eight and a quarter will already be there. Then nine and one eighth of an inch down to the first score line. 10 and 1 eighth of an inch down to the first score line and then your 11 inches will already be there. Okay, lots of scoring, but I hope I made it straightforward enough. Then get rid of your scoreboard, but keep your stylus and grab yourself a ruler and you are going to score. Okay, so um, let's do it so that we've got, um, so we've got the tab on the left hand side here. Okay, let me just stand up so you can see what I've done. So where you scored your square, you've got like that square there in the middle of this rectangle piece. Uh, yeah, there we go. We're going to be scoring from these corners up to the square. So you've got this bigger square here. You're going to do the corner of this square up to that one. So let me just go, you can see there how it will all come together. So all these little squares along the top is where you want to start each score line down to the bottom of the bigger square. Okay, so there's my little square. Put your stylus in the corner and then score down to the corner of that big one. Just go along. Sometimes I find it easier just to do all of that side first, like so, and then turn the ruler and then again down like so. It needs to push down a little bit harder than I have, I've just showed you for the purposes there, but that is what you want to have all the way along. Okay, and then you want to turn your card around and you want to repeat that, but this time you obviously have this line here and then you've got this one which is the same as the bottom. So again it's from that square, not this one, it's from the actual square from the corner down to the corner of the bigger square below. Okay, you can see there all the score lines. So you have lots and lots of triangles. Okay, so if you want to crack on and get all that done, and then we can start. So, finishing. what you want to do is carefully go along all of those lines and burnish them all out. And then the triangle ones, you just want to pinch with your finger and then kind of like pinch up to the top there, okay? So again, like so. Okay. So now I'm going to stick down this black um, line here. I just grab my crit stick there, so I'm just going to run this along. So, just want to sit it in the middle. Okay, so that's that all stuck in place, and then we want to start cutting. So, first of all, with the tab on your right hand side, you want to cut from that first score line, cut up to the other first score line, rotate it, and just cut that all out. 
okay again if you've done my previous one it's exactly the same process so then cut down the second score line go past that that next score line and then cut down again you're cutting down every one of these squares at the top of the triangle and then you want to cut that out like so so what you will have is that triangle with a square on top so it's a bit like a perfume bottle kind of look you want to redo that redo that you want to repeat that on each one so where the triangle is in the middle facing away from you the score line through like this one here you want that whole triangle there then the square and then again the whole triangle and then what you will have is this box that will start to form when we bring the sides together like so okay so just repeat that along this top don't do it on the bottom just okay so that is what you want to have for the top of your uh, box or orb whatever we're gonna I'm sorry the bottom that's the bottom sorry and then rotate it round to the front and what you want to do here let me just check again that I'm doing the right one so if that's the back I want to take that one out. Okay. So I'm just going to grab myself a pencil. So with your tab on the right hand side, you've got this triangle here and then you've got this triangle here. This square you're going to cut out. Okay. So just put a marker on it for now so that you know. And then you've got your two sides and then we've got the lid, uh, the, the closer, the top one that is going to be this far left one. Okay, so just turn it around and what you want to do is, first score line, cut down past this first score line here and you're going to cut down to that second score line, like so. Then you want to cut along, so you're cutting again, so it just looks like the base. And then cut down and then this time, rather than cut up that next one, you're going to cut all the way across. Keep going all the way until you get to that third triangle. I'll just cut this out and then show you where I've got to. So you're basically missing that piece, okay, from the, the bottom there. So just miss that piece off, keep that one. Then cut off the top of this one and again cut down, Just tidy that one up a bit and then again cut across to that end one and then this time you're not going to cut that top piece off, that's why we've done that extra score line, it's just to create a tiny little tab to stick the flower on for the closure. So if you decide to do a different closure, you can cut that top tab off as well. Okay. So that is what you want to have. So you've got your tab on your right hand side. You should have four squares along the bottom and then three squares along the top and one with that extra tab. Okay. So what we want to do now is pop some tape along the main tab here. Make sure you get it right up to that score line. Like so. And then we'll prep you want to pop base. A piece of tape on this one here. Like so. so okay, nice yeah, so you've got a piece on that one, then flip it over and put a piece on the inside of this end one. Like so, and I believe that is all you're gonna need for the minute. Yeah, okay, so let's take off the side piece first and what you want to do is fold that one down and then fold the other side and it should just all meet up nicely but I'm just going to make sure my middle bit and all my score lines like so okay so that's our back because that's where that obviously join is so you're not going to really you don't really want to see that even though it's nice and neat um, so what you want to do now is I'll just sit it down. So this is the back. This side here where we put the tape on. Just take that off. Push in all of those triangles. The one with the join on you might need to just pinch again. Just 
so it closes like so and then you want to stick this left hand side is going to go over it so you want to make sure it all lines up perfectly like so okay and then if you bring in the front and the back and this is when you'll know all your joins will come together nicely and then take the tape again off of the other one okay and then again lie down the one without the tape and then the other one can just sit neatly on top like so so I mean it does kind of stand up on its own but it it, it looks once you put stuff inside it I'm you know it could obviously all move around so now this front bit's a little bit different so again just squeeze in your sides pay a little bit more attention on that join you'll need to just pinch again like so okay and then so these two side pieces we're going to cut so left hand side facing you you just want to cut up the middle into the middle like so okay then rotate it round and do the same on the other side of the opposite piece like so okay and then bring them together and they will slot in like so okay and then when you bring the others just pinch your corners kind of set it all in together That piece then is your tab, which is going to have a Velcro dot underneath and the flower, and that is going to form the closure. Now, if you wanted to, you could feed it through the top. You might have to corner the edges. If I just shear them off ever so slightly, just to show you another way, in case you don't want to add a flower, you can pop it in like so. So you can have that finish if you want. So if you want to keep it really slick and really kind of elegant, then that's what you can do there and then you just lift up that and the sides and it would all come together that way okay so i'm obviously adding the flower because i wanted it to be a bit more of a wow and then add the base so i'm going to pop the base now i'm just going to pop a little bit of my um I'm trying to think what's going to be the best glue i think i'm going to just put this tear tape on actually because it's strong enough um, and then I'll show you how I put the flower on, but it's pretty straightforward. So it, it is fiddly, but I don't, you know, not everything's easy to do. So I, I do easy boxes and I like to do some really difficult ones as well. And I guess this is a little bit more um, of a time consuming box. So just lie that one down and so you get it nice and centered in your I'm grab my bone tool just to make sure that is all stuck down nicely. Like so. And then I can pull that all back up again. Right, so with my Velcro, that little flap and just fold that down over the end and then again with the flower put another piece in the centre of that and there you have it so that is a beautiful orb table piece table favor wedding favor whatever you want it to be but like I said you don't have to do the base like that you saw it does kind of stand on its own but as soon as you put stuff in it you could also have a different way of doing it and have it laying on its side and have just completely plain and just obviously tell people you just open it from the side if you wanted to do it that way but I'm really pleased with that and um, from the prototype to the, the the actual finished piece, I'm pleased. So, hope you like this one. Bit fiddly, but fun and effective. Um, hit the thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.